example today we are going to discuss about fordyces granules which is also known as fordyces disease this is basically not a disease but we call it as fordyce disease right it is basically a developmental disorder right it is heterotrophic collection of sebaceous glands at various sites in the oral cavity heterotrophic means abnormally present right sebaceous glands as we know that these are the oil producing glands present in our skin basically but when it is present inside our oral cavity it is basically abnormal this condition we will call it as fordyces granules right it is caused by the inclusion of ectoderm in our oral cavity which have some potentialities of the skin basically right now clinical features of fordyces granules it is basically small yellow spots which are present in a bilaterally symmetrical pattern right mostly these are present on the inside surface of our cheeks that is the mucosa of the cheeks right opposite the opposite the molar teeth right but it is also present on the inner surface of the lips retromolar region tongue gingiva frenum and palate but more uh, you can say more commonly it is present on the mucosa of the cheeks opposite to the molar teeth right it may be present on the esophagus female genitalia male genitalia palms soles the parotid gland larynx and orbit so these are the locations where these granules can be present right there is no significant gender predilection seen it is suggestive of sebaceous nevi suggestive of basically sebaceous nevi right now histological features of uh, fordyces granules so sebaceous gland see, seen but are not associated with hair follicles these are seen on, in the oral cavity but it is not associated with hair follicle but exceptions are always there bogman has discovered or has seen a single hair follicle present on the gingiva which was associated with fordyces granules right now the superficial glands are present in uh, these fordyces granules right which is having few to many lobules these lobules will open into ducts basically and these ducts open on the surface of the mucosa these ducts are is having keratin plugging right so the treatment there is no treatment required for this condition right but benign sebaceous glands may be convert into a cancer that is adenoma so benign sebaceous gland adenoma may develop from this condition right thank you